not too. And so that's so exactly what I said. What you you disagree with. I don't understand okay. the point yeah. you're making, though, relations and again. That I think you do understand exactly the point you're making, and again, but I'm, for the okay. purpose of the viewers, I'll, I'll, I'll repeat it. That if you go into the election again with Andy Kenny as leader, you're likely to lose more seats. And that since you can't control when the next election is going to be, and it could be any time, as you yourself have said, in the next few months, in a year or whatever, and if, you, if, if he's leader, he'll do you damage, and you're afraid to take the decisions regarding his future now. Well, I, I don't agree with that. Which bit don't you agree with? Him? That, that we're afraid to take any decisions on the leadership of, of who leads Fine Gael or whether or not Enda Kenny should be leading Fine Gael. Enda Kenny is the leader of Fine Gael, and we are supporting him at the moment while we're trying to... Do you think it would be a good idea for Fine Gael to go into another election with Enda Kenny as no, leader? I, see, I don't think you should be focusing on this. You're, you're focusing on personality, you're focusing on the next election. I'm asking you a question, and unfortunately, you can't tell me no, what I'm sorry. focusing on and what I can't focus on. My I'm interest going into the, the next election is that we have the right policy and programme for government when we go into that election. And if Enda Kenny is the leader of the party when we go into that election, I'll have my full support. I take it, you know, if yes, you agree that he would be disaster. Uh, if no, it's not. The next election, but anyway, we'll, yeah. we'll talk about uh, whether we can change the political system in any meaningful way after the break, and maybe we we'll get a few straight answers. So, join us then.